Okay, uh, it's going to be a short video. Um, of course, I say that every time and it ends up being 20 minutes, but um, didn't do a whole lot, or didn't have a whole lot video worthy this week. Um, so obviously I didn't get any videos up. Uh, got the mini excavator service, so that's ready to rock and roll. Uh, change the engine oil and the diff or differential oil in the that little moline garden tractor and put the deck back on it and got it up in the other barn so that it's out of the way for now um and then some what else did i do this week a couple days were just spent running around chasing parts to do those two things that i did but anyhow um so oh also i got all the lights working down here for some reason this half of the barn quit working but anyway this is going to be kind of the introduction to the project that we're going to have going on down here so going to knock what and i've talked about this in the past but for the people that had weren't around when that got talked about knocking a 10 foot door in this wall um actually it's going to be roughly 10 and a half foot basically i'm going to go from here so this that that part of the wall is not going to get touched this door is going to go away um i'm hoping i can repurpose this door and put it where that door is because that door itself is junk all the woods it's not rotten as in like doughy fights like dry rotted and it's just fragile so that door needs to be replaced so i'm hoping i can do something with this door to put it there um and then this wall from obviously the edge of that door to right here where this this brick seam is is going to go bye bye and that's going to get me ten and a half foot um so i got i have to save these round edge bricks so we're going to have to come in here and cut all the mortar out of the joints and hopefully those will come out and then same thing here when we come to take this wall going to have to cut the joints out so that we can slide those blocks in um and then hopefully the rest of the wall will just knock out and then we're gonna have to come back in here somewhere and i'm gonna cut a chunk out of the floor which scares me because i don't know how thick this floor is it could be anywhere from a couple inches to a foot um because this 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 barn had manure troughs in it that's there was one there Maybe just the one. Nope, there was one there and there was one here. So is the concrete here, is it as thick as the manure troughs were deep? Did they form the manure troughs and then bring sand in so they didn't have to, I don't know. And then you got multiple pores. There's a, there's a pore there, there's a pore there, there's a pore here. Looks like that piece is poured in one. There's a pore here, there's a pore here, here, there, there. There's a manure trough there. So anyway, it's kind of, I really hope this floor ain't that thick. Otherwise it's gonna be a bear to get busted out. Um, but basically gonna take a concrete saw and score it. And then jackhammer, or get a, or my granddad's got a jackhammer, an electric, a bigger electric one. Hopefully it's not too tough to bust out with a, with a jackhammer. Um, get that or get the floor out the floor will be phase one um got to get dad over here and talk about it and figure out exactly how big of a chunk i need to cut out and kind of plan that out but i'll get the floor cut out because the floor's got to be out of the way so that i can finish getting to the bottom of this or bottom blocks that i need and so get the floor busted out that'll be part one get the wall knocked out will be part two and get a door on it um and then in all honesty this sill beam right here would probably support would probably damn near be self-supporting because there's a main floor or there's a main beam here and there's a main beam here which is still going to be sitting on block wall um the spread between those or between you know wall and wall 
is going to be no different than this span here from this post which is you know on the main beam and then the post that was originally here which is under the main beam and there's nothing here supporting this center section of floor it's just here chilling doing its own thing and that beam is the same size as that beam so in all honesty there's really no reason why this beam wouldn't self-support because there is no the the main beams that go from the sill beam up to hold the roof up are in line with the main floor beams here so there's really no load bearing weight pushing down other than it's holding the floor up so get the wall knocked out get a door put on get this mess cleaned up from knocking the floor out be able to get a concrete mixer in here i'm gonna have to pour a ramp because there's like a like a six or seven inch actually it, the concrete on the outside of the barn tapers it's uh, higher up here and then it goes down i think it starts out at about a block there a block down and it gets down to like a block and a half two blocks on this corner so it's slanted um but you're gonna have to pour a ramp in here so that obviously you can get in um and then gonna pour two pads with foot with uh gonna have to dig down pour pads with footers um under these main beams and then gonna build a steel arch that will come just inside the wall and inside the sill beam and basically lay underneath the floor joist it's kind of it's gonna be kind of a redundancy kind of a feel-good measure because like i say in all honesty that sill beam will probably self-support and the barn won't even know that that chunk of wall is missing but it's a feel-good thing to have that steel uh arch there to help just kind of a backup so that's going to be the main part or the main worst part of it and then gonna gotta put a plumb bob or something in there and figure out where center is going to be down here which it looks like might have to That damn jack post might be in the way partly, but need to cut a hole out here and dig a footer and pour a pad. And then gonna put a steel post here where this wooden post originally was, where it was tongued into here. Um, so that this jack post and this jack post can go away and open up, get a bigger hole and get that done and then gonna have to come either side of this post and jack the floor up a little bit and put some posts in to support it get this beam cut out because it's getting kind of meh down here at the floor and same thing cut a hole out of the concrete dig down with a footer pour a pad and then put a steel post in here to help support um so th this post will be replaced and the post here will be in the correct location for where it was originally and these jack posts will be gone and out of the way and eventually this whole floor will get busted out and re-poured it probably actually won't be flat flat it'll probably come down to the center and have a have a v to it so that any water that ends up in here will run out back but basically pour a whole new floor in here and possibly drop it down closer to outside grade so that you got more headroom. Um, and it'll just be a lot better floor than what's in here. But that's not gonna happen until the price of concrete comes down from 175, 180 bucks a yard. So for now, it'll just be the, the ramp to get stuff in and out of here and the door i'm just going to put a slider on it um and yeah it's probably not going to be a project where i just jump on it and stay on it till it's done it's probably going to be one of them deals where i come down here at night after it's dark and can't really do anything else and fiddle with it for an hour or so and 
it, it, at least until it, I'm probably going to have to take a full day to do the wall. Um, cause that's not something you're going to want to start and then stop in the middle of. Um, and then obviously when it comes time to start pouring concrete, that's going to have to be an all day thing, but we've got our own concrete mixer, little one yard electric concrete mixer. Um, so we're going to make, I'll mix my own concrete and do it all without having to have any, or without having to hire anybody. So that's kind of the plan for this. Um, so it's going to be strung out multiple parts. Um, but that's kind of where we're at. Don't know if I'm going to start on it tomorrow. Um, it's going to kind of depend on what the weather does. We got a chance of rain tonight. I'm hoping it blows over because might be able to do some more board plowing tomorrow. Um, the field that I started on seems to be dry enough. If it is, if it, if we don't get any rain, if we get rain, it's going to be too greasy and it ain't going to happen. If, we, if this rain skips over us, might try to get some plowing done tomorrow. We'll see. Um, and also Sunday afternoon or Monday might try to start spreading lime because the ground's firming up enough that that should be able to happen. So it's kind of, I haven't really been getting into projects because everything as far as everything's in limbo because the weather's so hard to predict right now what we can and can't do so i haven't really started any projects because i don't want to start on something and be able to do field work so but anyhow um this is the gonna be the introduction to what we got going on here so i think that covers everything and then once this once this is done um I might have a lead on some barn lumber that I can use to fix the floor. Um, mostly this front half here in the center because it's kind of rough. So we shall see how that turns out, but that'll probably be a closer to spring project. I might be able to get the I might be able to get the wood this winter yet, but we shall see. Um, so yeah, I think. Oh, got a bulb burn out. So I think that covers everything I needed to talk about here. So I guess with that being said, I have to run back to mom and dad's and grab a can of diesel for the tea so that if I do end up going tomorrow, I need fuel to get it back to mom and dad so I can fill it with fuel. So um, that's where things stand as of right now. Videos might be a little spread out until we can get into some sort of rhythm as to what the hell is going on because right now i honestly can't tell you what the hell is going on it all depends on the weather so i apologize for that but is what it is so i guess that being said that's it for this one and we'll catch you guys on the next one